This explanation shows us just how rapidly major mountains formed. According to the hydroplate theory, the pre-flood earth had a lot of subterranean water. Increasing pressure in the subterranean water stretched the crust just as a balloon stretches when the, the pressure inside increases. Failure in the crust began with a microscopic crack which grew in both directions at about three miles per second. The crack, following the path of least resistance, encircled the globe in about two hours. So the water exploded violently out of the rupture. The high pressure fountains eroded the rock on both sides of the crack. This erosion widened the rupture. Eventually the width was so great that the compressed rock beneath the subterranean chamber sprung upward, giving birth to the mid-oceanic ridge that wraps around the earth like the seam of a baseball. The continental plates, the hydroplates, still with lubricating water beneath them, slid downhill away from the rising mid-Atlantic ridge. After the massive, slowly accelerating continental plates reached speeds of about 45 miles per hour, they ran into resistances, compressed and buckled. The portions of the hydroplate that buckled down formed ocean trenches. Those that buckled upward formed mountains.